What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got another foot birthday card to review and it is going to be Dybala, a player that's going for a crazy amount of coins, but a player that's got a five star weak foot. They gave Dybala a five star weak foot upgrade while also giving him 92 pace with 96 dribbling, 93 shooting, 93 passing with a 71 physicals as well. He's looking unreal. He's a five foot 10 player with medium, medium work rates four star skill moves and as i said a five star weak foot and you guys clearly can see by the price i picked him up for he ain't a cheap card he's a very very expensive card but he is looking worth it the stats on this card looks disgustingly good the chem style i've decided to go for is the hunter chem style i feel like the hunter chem style is going to be the way to go because you want to try to boost up that pace as much as possible you could go for like a hawk chem style on this card if you really want to but i feel like a plus five strength and plus 10 aggression isn't going to make that big of a difference to his physical so you might as well just try to boost up that pace as much as possible and as you guys clearly can see it's pretty much maxed out shooting ability five star weak foot as well with both shooting traits yeah is looking interesting 96 attacking positioning with 99 finishing 96 shot power 96 long shots 99 volleys with a 99 penalties he's got a five star weak foot with both shooting traits the shooting should be unreal now the passing ability looking top tier as well looks like he's going to be able to do passes with obviously both feet as well dribbling ability the only thing that you can question is the reactions being at 85 other than that everything else there looks unbelievable and the physicals 87 jumping is actually really really nice for a player that is five foot ten it's just his heading accuracy isn't that great so i'm not expecting him to score any headers today he's got 85 stamina which means he will be lasting for the whole of the 90 minutes and he has got 71 strength with the 51 aggression as well now the links argentina nationality wise it's good solid. You got Di Maria, numbers up card. You obviously got Lionel Messi. You got uh, Martinez, the Inter Milan striker. You got so many good Argentinians in this game. So yeah, the links for the nationality is not a problem. He comes from the Serie A and we all know there's so many good Serie A players in this game. So the league isn't a problem either. And the club, isn't a problem you got Vlahovic you got Chiesa you got the you got the headliner Zachary Okada as well so yeah everything towards Dybala towards links is unreal now when it comes down to positions only two positions the cam position and the strike and the striker position so yeah let's get into the games and let's see how good Dybala is gonna be get past them there sure well played over to Verdi or not over to Dybala I'm just gonna use his pace just keep it going we'll roll in front of the player really nicely we green time the finesse shot as well and it just goes past the post i noticed the shot power though i can tell you that the shot power was incredible there's a run all the way at the top we're gonna go for it and it's a perfect pass as well over to insigne just keep it going fake shot that and we're gonna give me the passing option verdi nah he didn't really go for a cutback he just continued his run go on class well played in the middle nice not a grace of touches but we're all good nice skill to get around the player as well He's not really coming towards me, so I'm just going to take my time. It was actually nice shielding from Dybala to just shield off the player, allow me to take my time, and he slotted it right into the top corner. I'm going to go for a first time driven, and that is a very good pass from Varane. I'm just going to run. I see him all the way to the top, so I'm going to guess he's going to try to defend it. Look at the dribbling, man. Look at this. Go on. Nice roulette as well. Elastic dribbling is very, very responsive. He doesn't know where I'm going to go. Oh my god, double ball roll as well. Nah, he did well. He did well to keep up with us. It's just, did you see the quick turns there? I really want to go for a finesse shot, but he's not really giving it to me. But we kind of got an angle here. Is he going to bring out his player? He isn't. So we're just going to use the outside foot and we're going to slot it. Not really slot it. It hit post and in, but yeah, he still goes into the back of the net. I'm actually really happy he used the outside foot there because if he didn't, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't think he would have gone in. Gonna need a pass into the middle and Chalobah's making that run as well. Can we go for the switch? We can. And Dybala is wide open. And you know, you know, you cannot leave Dybala that open on the 18-yard box. Look at that, man. It's a beauty of a finesse. Can I get that into the inside? I can. Pass it down. Extra pass. He might be off, though. He might be off. He is not offside. And it's a beauty of a finish. How is he not off? It looked like he was ahead of the player. Either way, we'll take it. We'll roll that. Get away from him. Dybala's trying to make a run as well. I'm just going to burst into space. There you go. Good use of pace. He's going to read the cutback. He is. 
but we're gonna do this. I just wanted to see. I just wanted to see if it was gonna go in. It was an extremely hard angle. You never know, right? You need to give it a go to see if it's gonna fly in. Verdi, turn him. Dybala, yeah, he sees that space. He runs into it as well, and look at the pace. Shot cancel round a keeper. It was a shot cancel, but usually when we shot cancel round a keeper, the guy uh, falls onto the ground, but clearly he didn't. It doesn't matter. We get the goal and we get the rage quit as well. I might just run here, see if what he can do against Alfonso Davis. I did say I was just going to run and then I cut back. But still, look at Dybala's pace against Alfonso. Full roll. Wait for him to come towards you. And then I tried to hit him with the lack of Keta, but he does defend really well. I'm actually surprised that Alfonso didn't catch up to him. You guys know Alfonso catches up to literally everyone. So the fact that he didn't catch up to Dybala just shows you guys how fast he actually is. And look at this again, man. Look at this again. Good strength. Nice turn. Good dribbling as well. Full roll. Oh my god. Nah, I took that extra touch, which I didn't need to do. Anyone going to give me the passing option? There you go. That ball eventually did. Nice little turn. Good dribbling again, man. Nice turn. Let's go for it. Green timed as well. It needs to go in, especially at that angle. That's like the perfect angle to go for a finesse shot. One thing I do want to give a go is how is these finesse shots on that five-star weak foot? Like, we're all used to the finesse shots with uh, the left foot with Dybala. I want to know how they are with the five-star weak foot, and it hits the post there. That was a good shot, though. I'm just going to play that line. Good acceleration. Keep going around Alfonso easily. Shield him off as well. Look at the shielding. Shot counts on the keep. That's the second time I've done... I've done that in the Fakir review as well. Is that like a new way of scoring? Where you act like you're going to shot cancel and it just goes straight through the legs? Nice little touch as well. Let's actually go for this. I want to see if this is going to work out. Go on. Go on, Insigne. It's a good pass, though. It is such a good pass. It's just Kappa has tracked it really, really well. Accelerate past him. Play that into the middle. Dybala always lurking on the edge of the box. I was going to go for a finesse shot, but let's keep it going. Stop it there. Nah. I feel like this. if this card had five-star skill moves, I'm telling you guys, the stuff that we can pull off would be insane because he's dribbling. His left stick dribbling is already really, really good. It's just some areas I want to pull off, like a, a Migiri spin cancel or like an Elastico, and obviously he hasn't got that to his game, and that was not his shot. Yeah, I was about to say, definitely took a deflection. Birdie, make that run down the line. He's not really making it. He's not really like fully committing towards it, but Chalabar does do well. Nice turn. Keep it simple. Go for the gap. Him with a roulette now. Accelerate. That acceleration is good, man. Really good. Go on, Makaleli. Nah, he was never going to win that header. Go on, Makaleli. Keep making that run. Dybal is in now as well. Ball around the keeper. Yeah, just take it very, very calm, and it's an easy finish. He's paused the game as well. Are we going to get a rage quit? We are going to get a rage quit. Dybala's movement in the cam position is actually like really nice because it's not like crazy, crazy aggressive. You can clearly see he wants to try to make runs in behind if the space is there. But he also does like he does like to come short. Like if we're playing it just into the middle, uh, he just sits on the 18-yard box just waiting for the ball. Like right here, waiting for the ball, not doing anything crazy, trying to make me create an angle. Hold up, go for a roulette, accelerate. His pace, is, his pace is nuts, by the way. The way you can just accelerate into those uh, into those little spaces with him is really nice. First time into the mid there. Good turn. Really good turn. Bull roll that. Or not. Didn't go for the bull roll. Didn't really respond towards it. I'm going to trust in the five-star weak foot. Go on. Green timed as well. I wasn't too confident hitting that towards the near post. I was going to hit it across goal. It's just I felt like the defender would have actually blocked it. I'm just going to hit that back to Luke Shaw. Give that over to Dybala. Once again, just trust into that five-star weak foot and it flies in. It was a good fake shot to create that angle really quickly. So it is time to review and we ended up playing five games with Dybala. We scored nine goals in those five games. We didn't come out with a single assist, but push that to the side. Nine goals in five games is something we would definitely, definitely take. He was scoring with the left foot. He was scoring with the right foot. He was finesse shotting with the left foot. It was flying in, not as consistently as like a Lionel Messi or a Salah. I'll say that straight up, but it was still very, very good. I was even giving it a go with the right foot as well. We ended up hitting the post. It was it was definitely a good shot, but we ended up hitting the post. So yeah, it didn't really go in with his, uh, his five-star weak foot. Either way though, shooting on this card, disgustingly good. Pace. Hmm. Something that I really did enjoy about this card was the pace, man. The way he could just take a simple touch turn quickly and accelerate instantly past the defender was something I was doing over and over and over again. And it was something I was loving. Like 
when the defender pushed out slightly towards me, it was GG. Dybala was getting in behind so easily. He got in behind Alfonso Davis. We know, we know Alfonso Davis is not an easy player to get in behind and he was doing it so easily. It was an absolute joke. So yeah, the pace, loved it as well. Passing ability, left foot, right foot. I was even doing it first time. It was landing perfectly onto the player. Brilliant passing ability, dribbling ability. The only thing I would argue against is not is not him not having five star skills. That's literally it. The left stick on this card. Oh my god! I only noticed the reactions. I think it was once. That's literally it. The reactions once. Other than that, the left stick on this card. Disgusting. Straight on disgusting. The thing that I loved about it was the ball control. He keeps that ball so close to his feet. It, it kind of confuses your opponent. He doesn't know when to go in for that tackle because if he goes in at stupid time, you're getting a penalty or you're getting a free kick. It's simple as that. I'm telling you guys, the dribbling is not a joke. The only thing that I would have loved on this card was the five star skill. Miss. That's it. Physicals. Surprisingly, I'm actually quite surprised with the 71 strength. Like, the 71 strength didn't feel like 71 strength. It actually felt more. I, I was seeing this guy holding off players. I was seeing this guy back into players, shield them off a little bit. So yeah, the 71 strength, it definitely doesn't feel like it. And I do like how EA actually went ahead and upgraded this guy's uh, stamina. The stamina definitely was needed. Like, no question about it. I think on his, uh, what card was it? It was, oh yeah, the man of the match card. He had, he had 86, not 86, sorry, 71. I was about to say 86, no. 71 stamina was on the man of the match card. We all know 71 is not enough to last for the whole 90 minutes, but 85, it definitely, definitely is. So yeah, props to EA for obviously upgrading his, uh, his stamina. And this card is going for around 1.3 million coins. It's a lot. It's a lot of coins, especially when, you know, players like Mbappe is going for the price. He goes for 1.3 million coins. I do not believe it is worth it. But yeah, as I said, man, he's an absolutely unreal card. Where would he go in the attacker's tier list? Phil Foden is in the S tier. I would say, honestly, Phil Foden has better left stick dribbling. But like pace, shooting, passing, I would say Dybala wins in every single one. I think there's no question about it. Dybala needs to go into the S tier. I would take this card over, over Coutinho. I would take this card over Vert's Future Stars. I'll take him over Smith Rowe Future Stars as well. So yeah, Dybala, this Dybala card does not deserve to go into the A pass. He 100% deserves to go into the S tier though. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.